Hey guys, here we are working Jasper Active. We're going to jump into PowerPoint again. Uh, I left off on lesson seven, running a slideshow, and I finished early, well, cut it off early, but we're going to jump back into practice because I'm having trouble with the screen recording. So here we go. Let's start running the slideshow. Here it says, click the slideshow tab, then in setup show, set up slideshow in the setup group right here. And it says, make sure that you're setting them up manually and that it's presented by a speaker full screen. All slides are there and click OK. Then it says, click the slideshow tab. And on the slideshow tab, in the start slideshow, you're going to say from beginning. Then it says use the left mouse button, or you can use page down and advance to slide three. Once you get to slide three, press the page up button twice, and then hit the escape key to get out of the slideshow. Then it says select slide five. On slide five, the spin off slide, we're going to start the show from the current slide. And they say to hold shift F5 like that. So now it says uh, point at the bottom left of the screen until. You see the pointer options right here, it's pointer options. You're going to select highlighter. And with the highlighter, you're going to highlight 15%. And then in the on-screen tools mode, you're going to click zoom. And zoom in on 15%. Notice you can move the screen around. It says drag the window to the right and down to view the slide title in the zoom window. Then press the escape key. And then right click any, any part of the slide and say, see all slides. Notice we can see all the slides. It says, uh, go to slide six and then hit the escape key to exit the show. It says, do you want to keep your annotations? You're going to say keep. Now click back on slide five and notice the highlighting annotation is right there. If you click on it, it shows up as a drawing object. You can see my drawing right there. I'm going to hit the delete key to get rid of it. And then next. Now we're going to use the presenter view. In the presenter view says press F5 if necessary. So let me PowerPoint my active window, press the F5 key to start the show, and use the next and previous arrows. Those are down here. Next. 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 I'm just going to click all the way to the end to slide six, and then use the previous arrow to go back. And if we can't see the presenter view, right click and say show presenter view. And here's next and previous again. And notice now we have notes that show up on some of the slides. So I'm going to advance to slide three. I think this is in my way. Let's try that again. Advance to slide three. And notice that we have notes right here. So I'm going to increase them so you can see that we can increase and decrease the font size. And click the pen tool. Notice we have a pen. Select the ink color. Let's go back. Ink color red. And then on the toolbar, Click and slideshow. And that takes us to the next step. 
rehearse and customize presentation timings. This one is where it got a little funky last time, but we'll see how it goes. So notice right here, we can rehearse timings. So go ahead and click rehearse timings and advance through the slides. You can use the forward and back arrows and take as much time as you feel is necessary for each slide. I'm doing a video, so I think that is plenty, eight seconds. All right, now it says uh, we saved our timings. Let's go to the view tab and select slide sorter view. With the slide sorter view, we're going to notice that there's times now next to each one of the slides. To see more specifics on those times, go to the transitions tab. And with whatever slide you select, you can see the exact amount of time to the hundredth of a second. So it says, uh, click slide three, transitions tab in the timing group. Set this one to advance automatically after five seconds. And then it says go to slideshow, set up slideshow, and click browsed at a kiosk full screen. What that means is like what you see at the mall when you have a uh, realtor computer slideshow that just shows houses for sale and then it starts back over from the beginning. So now we're going to say <clears throat> from slides one to three and click OK. Oh, uh, do we do timings of present? I think we're OK there. Let's make sure right, right here we say use timings in the setup. So check that box right there to use timings. Then press F5 to start the show. And notice it's automatically advancing. When we get to slide three, it should last five seconds. That takes us to step 12 in the directions. And it says, hit the escape key to get out of there. <clears throat> step 12 says, go to setup show. And you're going to say presented by a speaker full screen again all slides and change it to manually and click OK. Notice use timings unchecked itself there after we made that last change. Next, record a presentation. For this one, I'm going to stop and I will pick up record a presentation and create a, presen a custom slideshow in the next video.